Welcome to the brand new expert talk from Cloud DNA. Uh, in this expert talk, we will focus on the Fiori Launchpad, especially on the new features of the Fiori Launchpad, uh, the spaces and the so-called pages, which help you to increase the performance and also to change the look and feel for your end users. Uh, and in this talk, we're going to explain you the concepts behind these new features. mentioned in the intro, we are going to talk about the new features in the Fiori Launchpad. By the way, this is our first uh, English-speaking uh, expert talk. So we have some, some previous expert talks, so we had some previous expert talks in German uh, dealing with the, the Fiori Launchpad and the features of the Launchpad. Uh, and basically what we had in the Launchpad is, just to give you a short recap, the Launchpad itself is more or less a single page application that we have. And it is the central entry point for all SAP applications. So whenever you have an app, a Fiori application that you would like to start, you have a tile in the launchpad for each application. So we have tiles here, different tiles. They can be either static or dynamic where you have a number that changes and, and KPI that changes. And on the other hand, we have something called a Fiori catalog. In this Fiori catalog, we have all the applications listed and we also have the target mappings here that I'm going to talk about in a few minutes. Each tile that we are going to use here is represented by, of course, an entry in the catalog. If you have a full-blown SAP system, you might have thousands of tiles here in the launchpad. If you have a lot of roles, if you're a super user or a power user, you might have hundreds or even thousands of tiles here, which means that the performance might not be the best, especially, especially on, based on our experience. We've seen with uh, dynamic tiles that you might get some performance problems. Uh, usually what was visible here in the launchpad was the so-called Fiori groups. So we also had, uh, Beside the catalog, we had the groups. This was removed, this was deprecated now with a new feature. And SAP therefore introduced something called spaces. So within the Fiori launchpad, we have spaces. We have a space number one. Of course, you can choose the name on your own. We have a space number two and so on. You can have multiple spaces but the tiles are not pl uh, uh, placed or positioned within the spaces. We have an additional level here in order to make it even more comfortable for the end users and also to, to increase the, the user experience or to, to uh, provide a better user experience. Below the spaces, for each space, you can define so-called pages. So we can have a page number one here. We can have a page number two. We can have a page number three and so on. And below these pages now, here we have our tiles. We also deal with these pages with uh, the, the roles, the classic roles that you know from the SAP transaction PFCG. So we have still the standard transaction PFCG where you initially assigned, of course, the Fiori catalogs and the groups, and now you can also assign this to space concept to your users. And the idea of this is to uh, dynamically load the content within the spaces and pages that you don't load all the tiles at once. Uh, also the dynamic tiles, only the, the, uh, the dynamic content is loaded for the tiles that are visible. So within your page, which hopefully increases the performance of the, of the launchpad or even gives you a better user experience. Uh, and uh, uh, on the other hand, you also have the flexibility to enable this either per user, which is done in the personalization within the launchpad. So you can switch it on and off per user, or you can generally set it for the whole launchpad uh, for your whole system, which means every user uh, has the, the same uh, entry point here based on the spaces and the pages. The bad news here is that there is no migration available from the groups to the pages. So you have to think about the, the concept of the, the spaces and pages and the organization within your company or within your SAP system. 
and uh, set it up from scratch once, but uh, I think it's, it's worth to have a look on it. Uh, and it works both on the on-premise side and also in the SAP business technology platform, also in the different cloud solutions like S4HANA Cloud. Uh, yeah, and we're also dealing with some parts of this in, in our book about SAP Fiori Elements from SAP Press, uh, where you learn the Fiori Elements, which is the low-code approach from SAP for developing Fiori applications. And we also have some configuration stuff there, where you can see how to configure this stuff. Yeah, I hope you, you liked our first uh, expert talk. Uh, hot topic with the launchpad. I hope that this is the last change in the launchpad for the next years. Uh, and hope you will enjoy.